Hello friends, so now that we have already made all the necessary uh, designs such as this product landing page for every single product that you have. So the next thing that we would be doing is to have a cart, a cart where we can actually show the products that currently uh, that you have just chosen from the from the store. Uh, yeah, that's the whole idea of the next part of the course will be. so. In order to create a cart, so we need to have a cart button where you can actually click on it and you can also show at the nav bar here. That's where usually you'll find the, the, the yeah the cart icon where you can actually know how many icons, how many items are there in your cart at the moment you are browsing through your store. So let's get started with just adding a simple yet very crucial element which is called okay just need we just need to go to this uh, like select this particular add tool and you need to go down and then you just look for e-commerce and you need to grab the first item here which is called cart so just just grab it and just we're gonna place it in in the nav bar here as you can see all of this are actually showing red signs red signals to just to indicate that we can't place it anywhere at the moment in the cart in the in the nav bar here except for here so what we do is we just place it here first for now and what we can do is that we need to delete all the other stuff here for example let's delete the, the all the stuff we won't be needing this for now because we're just not going to use this anymore so what we can do here also we can just need to place it right here I mean you need to grab the whole icon just place it right here okay there you go and just you know, delete this okay so currently you have your card here let me just zoom for a while this, this is your card you'll be having in your oh sorry okay this is your card will you, you'll be having in your header at the at the right hand side of your nav bar so this is the this is how a typical uh, card would look like so there are many things you can actually customize in your card here for example this is uh, the name the, the name of the cart here and then this tree is actually showing how many items are there in your cart so that in, in this case I have three items in my cart because I have added three and let's say this is this directly coming from uh, yeah this is basically this is coming directly from the number of items you have chosen in your products so let's uh, uh, let's the next thing I can actually sh uh, we can you can actually do with this particular button is this you can show what is the total price of your products that you have chosen let's say uh, this is your card here this is the text here what you can do with this text we can just need to let me just do okay what you can do with this text is that we can actually uh, like manipulate this text and we can actually get the text from the card uh, yeah items we have chosen so there are many dynamic uh, variables that we can replace the, this word with so let's if we click on get text from cart let's click on this and we can we get to select multiple number of other field which is also dynamic let's say that the quantity so in this case the quantity is it's only three so you'll get three instead oh that's five by the way oh so there's, th there's five uh, quantity in your uh, yeah number of the number of yeah units is five while there's only three items you have chosen so that's way that's why it's choosing five and three here so let's give it another uh, settings here so this is in this case is quantity the number of total number of items you have and the next thing we can actually replace is, is the price and as you can see here the price of all your product that you have you have added to your cart cost two hundred and twenty dollars and this in this way we can actually direct dynamically show all the subtotal of your content of your cart so that's it that's it from me so this is the basic idea of how your cart would be able to be uh, manipulated and made for your website so this is really simple as you can see everything is pre-made and everything is like all you have to do is just drag and drop and just do some uh, changes to the settings and presets and that would make you your comp your website a better e-commerce shop so thank you for listening for this particular website eh, this particular video of the course so let's in the next video let's uh, dive deeper into the cart where we can actually manipulate the number of uh, that all the cards that we actually uh, you're able to add into your yeah cart so thank you for listening let's meet in the next video thanks